Okay, that's good enough. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a little introduction video to my channel because I've always wanted to try starting a YouTube channel, so I'm giving it a shot. And I know I look rough right now, it's because I'm doing like a little get ready with me while you guys get to know me. So, I'm gonna write down notes on a sticky note. <laughs> Let's just get into it. I'm gonna do my very basic makeup routine that I do like every day for school. And I'm not like a beauty guru, so if I do stuff wrong, don't be mean. Just pretend you don't see it. Thanks. I'm gonna take these off first so you can see my beautiful eyes. I'm kidding, I need to, I need to calm down. So first I do, oh wait, I should probably like introduce myself, huh? Sorry, I'm really bad at this. My name is Carly Vanderslice. Hi, and if you're seeing this video, there's a pretty good chance you already know me in real life and you follow me on Instagram where I will be posting this video on my story. So if you do, hi. You can pretend like you didn't see this because it's kind of embarrassing for me as a high school senior to be starting my dream as a YouTuber now. But anywho, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm gonna start with my um, eyeliner. I always start with my eyeliner, which is kind of a crazy step to start with if you ask me. Sorry, all my dog's being weird. Hi, Tommy. Hold on. Love, love, love. Okay, eyeliner. I use the Sephora brand 12 hour retractable waterproof gel liner. This is why I don't wanna be a beauty guru. I just really like talking to myself and talking a lot. It's my favorite activity. So I thought YouTube would be perfect for me. I'm gonna do this while I talk. So. Oh, I put it in my waterline. I suck at normal eyeliner. Like, I can't do the wing. I've tried following Atari Yummy tutorial. Trust, I can't do it. So, we're just gonna do waterline. And try not to stab your eye out. I usually do this in a moving car on the way to school, so... I've gotten pretty good at not stabbing my eye out. Basically, my channel's gonna be all about, like just my life you know like maybe i'll do a few vlogs some tutorials some like trying new things you know i have no idea honestly i'm just gonna film whatever i'm feeling in the moment and if it makes a good video it makes a good video and if it doesn't it doesn't so you can already see the difference between my two eyes it makes the lower lash line look fuller and I know it looks crazy right now with just that eye, but like once I put on all the mascara and everything else, it'll look so good, trust. I'm gonna go in with some, sorry, I keep forgetting to talk about what I'm doing. And I have like some super cheap, like, um, I know this is sounding weird because I just use this Sephora brand, but I usually just use pretty cheap stuff. Like here I have the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes <laughs> mascara. I think I stole this from my mom actually. This is what I use every day because it's, I always, I have super shaky hands. You can see that. Like, I swear I've eaten today and shit. I have super shaky hands, so I always get mascara on my upper lid. And this one's good because it just doesn't smudge as easily. But I am definitely one of those girls who has, like, spider leg mascara going on because it's just how it ends up coming out no matter what I do. Okay. That's good for eyeliner. I'm also actually not going anywhere. My dog just jumped up on the window. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I know you're thinking he's about to bark. <laughs> Tommy. As I was saying, you know what the best makeup remover is? Actually, is your own saliva. And I know people say that's gross, but I don't really care because look how good. Like it, like this is waterproof mascara too. And it's doing pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna let my dog out, BRB. Mascara is done, so that's that step done. My makeup routine is really, it's super short now that I think about it. But anywho, next I use this Rare Beauty Blush, liquid blush in the shade Joy. My big sister gave this to me for my birthday, or no, for Christmas, and it's my favorite. But I literally just put one dot on each cheek, and then I take a big fluffy blush brush, and I try to put it, I put it on like my higher 
cheekbones a little bit and then I try to bring it up towards my temple a bit and like it will look crazy at first especially if you use a darker shade because rare beauty blush does not fuck around okay I used to put like three dots on each cheek and every day I went to school looking like a clown so but yeah YouTube I'm supposed to be talking about this while I get ready I've always wanted to do it since I was a little girl I've been obsessed with YouTube you know, fuck it, I'm in my senior year of high school, I might as well try something just to see, you know? Even if it doesn't take off, it's just a fun little passion project of mine. But see, I needed that blush because I'm like super pale. It just brings some color to my face. I do not leave my house without blush. And this is my favorite blush. And I know it's expensive, if you can't get it, that's fine. I couldn't get it either, my sister had to buy it for me. A lot of my stuff is actually from my mom or my sister. Like this... I got this technically for Christmas because I used a gift card to buy it. It's fine. I stole this from my mom. This is my hairbrush, but stole this from my mom too. Um, gifted to me by my mom. Gifted to me by my mom. Gifted to me by my sister. Stole this from my mom. Bought this one myself. Actually really proud of that. Most of my shit comes from my mom or my sister. Does that make me a bad daughter slash sister? I don't know, but... I appreciate them because without that I wouldn't look cute every day. Anywho, next step of the routine is highlighter and I just showed this but it's a Charlotte Tilbury um, sculpt and highlight palette and I sold this for my mom but in my defense she never ever used it and I was like that's good makeup going to waste so I stole it and I don't use the bronzer. I know I should use bronzer but I don't because I'm terrible at it and I always end up looking like a pageant princess from toddlers and tiaras. I don't know why I said it like that pageant. I just take like this much highlighter. I actually have no clue if you can see that. It's, pr it's a pretty good amount and I just put it on my cheek. I kind of eyeball it because I don't know what I'm doing. Also you might have noticed I'm not wearing any foundation and concealer. That's obviously like up to your own discretion. You can do whatever you want. I usually use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Concealer, but as you can see, that is way darker than me, and I don't have my shade right now, that's why I'm not using it. But I do highlighter on each cheek, just like this, until it's relatively- there's also a mirror on here, so I'm using that, don't mind. That, and I put some on my upper lip, and obviously on the tip of my nose, I try to blend it in. And I use some on the bridge of my nose. I don't blend that at all because otherwise it won't look snatched. Some in my inner corners of my eyelids. And the arch of my brow. Love that for me. There we go. I do look crazy right now, don't I? Well, to me, I look cute and that's all that matters. So we're already on to the last step. Okay, I'm going to stall a little bit. I have to put Vaseline on my recent tattoo I got a couple days ago. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a matching tattoo with my sister. Also, please forgive my outfit in this video. I'm wearing literally my pajama pants right now, but I'm not going anywhere. It's literally a Sunday afternoon. I stole this shirt from my stepdad and cut the collar off because it's a Nirvana shirt. I can't name two Nirvana songs, so <laughs> don't ask me. Usually my next step would be to use the e.l.f. brow lift brow gel But I've been kind of not using it lately because I feel like it makes my eyebrows look weird My sister said it makes me look super judgy and maybe that makes her judgy for saying that but I agree with her So it's fine. I have two lip combos that I constantly switch between I can never choose I either use this Laura Mercier uh, lip liner that I got from my mom for Christmas in the shade Agnes. That's a pretty name. I like that. And then on top of that, I put on the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Gloss, which is super good and I love it and it smells like strawberries, but I'm almost out. So I'm not going to do that today. I ride or die for this combo. Well, this is not really a combo. This is just what I do because I love this lip gloss. It's the NYX Fat Oil Drip in shade That's Chic. I always use this constantly 24-7. Love this lip gloss. <clears throat> but I like a plumping lip gloss and this is not plumping. So I put on the Fenty Beauty Heat lip gloss, which is plumping underneath. My sister gave this to me for Valentine's Day. 
And fun fact about this, not this exact bottle, but the first time I ever had this lip gloss, it was because a girl in one of my classes was going to Shoppers Drug Mart to look for the Clinique Black Honey um, almost lipstick. And I was like, can you see if they have the NYX fat drip, fat oil lip, I don't fucking know what it's called. The NYX lip oil. I was asking if she could see if they had it in this shade. And she was like, yeah, I'll totally check. And then she bought it for me without me even asking. So shout out to her. I don't know if I should say her name. She's really nice. If she sees this, she knows who she is. And I love you. Thank you. I'm on so many tangents. I am always and forever more of a gloss girly. I've tried balms. It just doesn't work for me. But you know. Maybe one day. I just like the look of glosses better. They're so shiny. Now I put this one on top. It's a little separated right now, so I'm going to stir it up a bit. I got this one at a shopper's drug mart in Alberta, so it was super cheap. I think it was like $8. But I think regularly where I live in Vancouver, it's like $16 per bottle, which is kind of insane, but also way better than all of the shit at Sephora. So, like, look at that difference already between my bottom and my upper lip. Unmatched unmatched i love it so much i could wear this like every day for the rest of my life and i would be fine with it and is it kind of a sin that i put two lip glosses on top of each other yeah a little bit but i can't be bothered to change that about me so that's my makeup routine that's literally it that's all i do and i could do more I've been wanting to try the Tara Yummy um, eyeliner because I saw her like updated makeup routine video and I was like, ooh, that looks fun. But I don't know. I just haven't gone around to trying it and I'm terrible at eyeliner, so I'm not going to try it for the first time when recording a YouTube video. But I'll try it and let y'all know if it works out. My hair looks kind of psychotic right now. It's because I was sleeping and I just took it out of the pineapple. If you have curly hair, you know what that means. If you don't, I'm jealous of you. That's my first YouTube video. I'll probably continue uploading hopefully once a week. Hopefully around like the beginning of the week, like Monday to Tuesday. I don't have a definitive schedule yet because I don't think that far ahead. Come along and join me if you want, you know? Um, I think I'm pretty cool. You might not agree. If you don't, that's fine. You don't have to watch my videos, but I love my videos. Actually, this is my first one, but I'm having fun so far. So subscribe if you want. Click that bell button to like it and just give me all your attention. Okay, I'm leaving now. Actually, I just realized I forgot to show you what I look like with my glasses on with the makeup. So this is how I would go to school. Usually I'd do my hair, do something with all this, but you know, I'm not doing that today because I don't feel like it. So, but this is what it looks like.